in verse 4 and 5 of a man's scripture Jesus Christ asked Peter to let down his nets yet not at a place not at a time an experienced fisherman would have let down his net for if Peter and his partner fished, fished the whole night and very far from the coast it was because it is the appropriate place and time to catch fishes. This is why Peter said to Jesus, Master, we told the whole night. By saying this, Peter was implying to Jesus Christ that it is not the appropriate time to catch fishes. Peter was insinuating it does not make sense to fish at this time and place. But Peter added, Nevertheless, at your word, I will lay down the net. This was to say that even though it does not make sense to lay down the net at this place and at this time, but because you say to do so, hence I will lay down the net. Hence, God would like us to understand that faith does not wait for things to make sense before it can be expressed. Rather, faith needs to be expressed when there is no rationality. Faith needs to be made manifest when reasoning disapproves every possibility. God wants us also to understand that faith simply obeys the word of God. I repeat, faith only obeys the word of God so though it does not make any sense yet because God has said so hence I act though it seems to be complete absurdity, absurdity but because God has spoken hence I do it though it seems to be foolishness but because Jesus Christ has said the word hence I move forward If we pay a closer look at our main scripture, we can see that in verse 4, Jesus Christ said to Peter, let down the nets. Nets in plural. And pray at least more than one net. Though Peter did follow the instruction of Jesus, yet Peter did not do it faithfully. For in verse 5, we see that Peter let down only one net. Thus the result confirmed this fact. For the net was so full that it was about to break. Because the amount of fishes in the net was meant for more than one net. And if they would have loaded all the fishes into the ship, into one ship, it would have sunk. This tells us that when God speaks, we need to be very careful on faithfully acting accordingly. For failing to do so may result in seeing ourselves in trouble. And the fact that the fishes were so many that they filled a southern boat implies that when God enters into your situation, the solution will be beyond your expectation. It will be more than enough for you so that you can also share the blessing with other people around you. So, always see the blessings of God in your life as an opportunity to share with others, thus expressing the love of God to others. Christ caused Peter to have a miraculous catch of fishes to break the deception of Peter of having told the whole night without catching any fishes and thereafter to tell Peter that from henceforth he shall catch men this entails that the main problem we may be facing in life is actually related to our divine purpose in life is aligned to our divine calling 
it is an indication it is an indication that your of your god's given mandate on earth and when god miraculous solves such problem in your life he is in fact activating your divine calling this is why when god set free someone from drug addiction the person ends up helping others other people to be free also from drug addiction or when god set free someone from prostitution the person who ends up helping other people to break free also from prostitution and so on and all pointing the people in troublesome situation to jesus christ so that they can also be free this is the case of a man in the united states of america who was arrested by an fbi agent and he ended up spending several years in prison for his criminal acts but yet in prison the man gave his life to jesus christ and repented from all his evil deeds and he spent most of his time in prison studying the word of god and god used him to help bringing other prisoners to christ jesus and after a few years in jail the man was finally released and he went to visit the fbi agent who arrested him and the agent told him that from the day you went to jail i started praying for you and god told me that you are the reason why i joined the fbi which was to help to help you today the two men are best friends and the ministry of this man has helped and brought over 20,000 prisoners to christ jesus all over the united states of america and the two men were invited at the white house by the president trump and recognized for what god has done in their life and through their life and their friendship thus remember that the main and major problem you may be facing in life is an indication of your divine calling on earth and when god helps you to overcome it he is actually activating your divine calling so people of god we need to pray we need to pray in the name of jesus christ for god to cause people even the whole human race not to rely on their own abilities knowledge strength wealth and etc but instead they must rely on god completely on god we need to pray in the name of jesus christ for god to help people not to wait for all the avenues to be exhausted before they can fully lean on god we need to pray for god to make people as well as yourself always to be humble of heart always to have the right attitude before god and this including all the leaders of every nation especially in this time that they must bow down and humble before god acknowledge god recognize god in everything that they do in the leadership in the leadership we need to pray in the name of jesus christ for god to meet everyone who is broken heart in the point of need we also to pray for god to express to for, for, for people to to cause people to express their faith even though the situation at hand makes no sense for them to act in such a particular way we need to pray as well for god to move people when expressing their faith to obey the word of god faithfully in fact we need to pray also for god to open the eyes of people so that they can discern the divine calling in the midst of that situation in the midst of the challenge in the midst of the major problem in the life and that god activate that divine calling and also cause them to fulfill their respective divine calling 
in the name of Jesus. So would you pray with me? Let us bow our head and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, blessed is your, is your name. We thank you for your word. We thank you for unveiling Almighty God, divine truth unto us, for equipping us, Almighty God, with understanding, knowledge, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh God, and we ask, help the whole human race, the work of your hands, not to rely on their own ability, on their own knowledge, strength, wealth, or so on, but to completely lean on you, completely rely on you. Let us not wait to exhaust all our, our avenue or try all means before we can understand that without you, we cannot succeed. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask you, help us to always have the right attitude in front of you. Always to express the right state of heart. Always to be humble. For you resist the proud. So help us to refuse any kind of haughtiness, any kind of pride and arrogance in our life. We pray in the name of Jesus. Touch every leader in every nation to humble themselves before you, to acknowledge you in all their ways. To lean not on their own ability or on their position, but to lean on you. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will meet everyone that is of a broken heart, of a contrite spirit. Meet them in a point of need. Visit them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn that disappointment. Oh God into success turn their failure into success turn the limitation into achievement in the name of Jesus Christ Father we pray help the people help the human race to walk by faith for so have you created us even though it does not make sense for us to act in a particular way Help us to simply obey your word. Help us to express our faith when there is no rationality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to be faithfully acting accordingly to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, open our understanding. Open our eyes to see, to see and discern the reason why you have created us. The reason why you have brought us on earth. Help us to understand, understand our divine calling. The purpose of our being. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. That through our adversity, through our major situation in life, let us discern our calling. And as you solve it, Father, activate that calling. Let us enter into that, oh God, divine purpose in the name of Jesus. I pray that throughout the world, that you straighten your hands to activate the calling of your people. Activate your calling, the calling of everyone. In the name of Jesus, remove any kind of confusion. In the name of Jesus, any kind of doubt and certainty, remove it or oh no. 
in the name of Jesus. Help us fulfill it. In Jesus' name, fulfill our divine mandate on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. We glorify you. We exalt you for hearing us and answering us accordingly. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Be blessed.